Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 3 of my Alpha Attack series. So today I am, I took inspiration from the last layout I did where I had the curve of Zs across the page and I'm going to create a, um, a circular design using up some alphas that um, wouldn't generally get used. And so I've pulled some different colours from my alpha stash. So I've got a black, um, some gold and some teal. And I'm going to just to start lining them up next to each other so they're touching in a circle. And I've just used a plate to draw around to create my circle. Some areas the pencil marker is going to show. So if that's going to bother you, then just do what I've done here um, and erase it and just leave a faint a faint mark going around the edge. So you'll see here I've got part used alpha packs and um, some of them I literally have only a few left. And the reason I've chosen this color is the photograph that I'm gonna use, which you'll see shortly, um, I'm wearing a very similar color to those tealy alphas. And um, so that's why I've chosen to use those, but I wanted to accent it with golds and blacks because those are the most of the thickers that I have. Um, I do apologise for the quality of this video. For some reason it did film really dark and I have struggled to get the video lightened up. But you can see what I'm doing so I will sort it for the next video. Um, I didn't want to um, lose this footage um, because you can, you can still make out what I've done. So I've then got another circle which is smaller than the plate size and I think I used um, a vase for, for that one and I've drawn another circle inside so I've tried to make it as evenly spaced as possible and then I'm just using exactly the same alphas and going around and completing the second circle. <clears throat> I do have a little bit of a tip for you in that when you're trying to complete the last alpha try and use a foam alpha because you can normally manipulate those into the size that you need um, so if you're finding that your space is too small or too big to fit your last alpha in then try and use a foam one um, that you can sort of bend or stretch or squeeze in as and where you need so i decided to do a third circle so i've just used a, um, a drinking glass to draw around and as i said i'm using up the ones the q's the W's, the V's, um, those sort of letters, um, anything that I have lots left of in a pack, um, I'm using those. So there's a lot of G's in there. Um, and then I've put a couple of um, more useful alphas, um, but ones that I have multiple of left. Um, so I've just added those in. And then I'm just going around filling in that third circle. And I'm just going to speed this up and show you the uh, finished result when I put that last one in. And here we are. So I love the way that that finished. And um, I can see me making many more layouts with that design on as well. So I'm just coming in with my photo. This is the photo that I said about where um, it's got the, the teal colour in the top that I'm wearing. And the photograph is really poor quality. Um, it was taken on I think it was like on an old phone um many years ago on New Year's and the 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 journaling that I'm going to add in afterwards you don't see it actually on the video um brings a point to the random alphabet um or the random alphas that I've used so um the photograph is of me and my husband's cousin and whenever we get together and have a drink we we um yeah we get we get very drunk and um we do start talking gibberish and it doesn't really make any sense it's just drunk talk and so i thought that the the alphas in the formation where it doesn't actually read anything um it's because we're talking gibberish so i will add that into the journaling but i will do that off um off camera so now on to the embellishing so i didn't really know what i wanted to do with this but because it's already fairly busy with the alphas I thought I would just bring in some um, pops of other colours um, to help so I'm just going to stick down my uh, my photo layers and that's just going to go straight on top of the alphas that are already there and then I'm just using stickers as embellishments um, on this one I bring in some um, small wood veneer as well so I find this sticker that says live life in full colour and that's almost like a subtitle for me and um, or it would be the title actually and then I'm going to use these arrows 
um, that have different sayings on ones that would really work. But I do like the addition of the um, these colours uh, rather than it just being sort of the, the teal colour. If you wanted to do a monochromatic one where you just stick to um, the same colour, then um, then that will work too. But I did just want a pop of colour on um, on this layout. So my main three embellishment areas are just above the photo, just below the photo, and then into this top left-hand corner. And I'm just going to drag in these word strips from that. Uh, I think it's a Simple Stories sticker sheet. And it's just one that I've got um, hanging around in my stash. Um, and then I am pulled out another sticker sheet as well. This one is from Echo Park, I believe. And um, there's just this one sticker here that says um, four times fun times <laughs> together. Oh, I could read it on such a small screen. Um, so I think that's the only sticker that I use from that sheet. And then uh Finally, I don't think I'll bring anything else in. Um, I bring in a flare, so I'm just going to have a search through my flare stash. Um, this one worked really well with the colours, but again, I just wanted to break those colours up a little bit. And so I do choose another um, another one that says, um, love, do what you love, love what you do. And so that one's going to go into that cluster there, just with some wet glue. I'm just using my Tombow adhesive and sticking that down so I have a bit of a fail here I decide to put something heavy on top of it to weight it down until it's stuck and I put the magnetized side of the um, the little cup down and ended up pulling that off so I flip it over and um, and that seems to work and then I'm just going to add in some tiny wood veneer stars one of my favorite things to use and those are going to go into each of the bottom and the top clusters and this is the layout pretty much finished so um thank you very much for uh, joining me today for episode three um we're nearly um oh I, we're about a, a sick for the way through now i think so still many more layouts to come and um, lots of inspiration next one's up on thursday um stay tuned to the end just for the alpha count you'll see how many i've used so far so if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below and I'll see you all um, on my next video on Thursday, 147. See you later. Bye.